What's going on guys and welcome back to another game analysis video. In this game, my team FC Tulsa is taking on Birmingham Legion FC. This is a huge, huge game because we are currently, or at the time of this video, at the time of this game, we are in third place and Birmingham Legion is in second place. So big battle, close to the top of the table battle and uh, definitely two good, two good sides here if I do say so myself. Anyway, here is our lineup for FC Tulsa. I'm number 13, Matt Sheldon. I'm playing right back and as I'm looking at this, this is pretty much all correct. Maybe the wingers are switched. Um, yeah, but it's it's pretty close, so all good. That's uh, It's rare. Anyway, uh, here is the start of the game. We are going to start with kickoff. Birmingham Legion's in black. We are in this turquoise color. This is our third kit, our mural kit. I just want to let you guys know that if the game does look a little lethargic or slow, it's because it was about 100 degrees at kickoff with 100% humidity. We just had a huge rainstorm and the sun came out, and now it just feels like you're in a swamp. So conditions are, oh, look at Mo, he's already sweating and the game hasn't even started. The, the conditions are, are tough. Here is my very first touch in the game coming up in the attacking half. I'm just going to receive the ball and then immediately looking forward, I'm, I'm just seeing a lot of black shirts in front of me and not any decisive run into the box. So I'm going to cut it back for Eric Bird right here in this pocket and then our players can get into the box. It's a good angle to cross the ball and we actually almost capitalize in the uh, first few minutes of the game. So good, good attacking sequence. Here, as soon as the ball starts to switch, you can see Rivas is already opening up. He's checking his shoulder. I'm just getting high and wide. I'm creating some width, creating some depth. So uh, this fullback or this wingback has just, you know, something to think about. He has to stay at home. He can't just charge out there. Now I'm high and wide. The ball's going to be played into me. And now I'm just looking at JJ right in here. I just want to play the ball right in between the penalty spot and the six yard box in the dangerous area. I think that's a great cross um, just over JJ's head, but I, I'm happy with the, the pace, the, the area that went, everything. Receiving the ball out here, Rivas is going behind and now he's gonna check two. So I'm just gonna wait till he checks and then play the ball into his feet and then just stay back so he can create a little option. We don't have an interior um, passing option there, but uh, we get the throw in. I'm just winning the uh, loose ball there, playing it back to the center back and then the great threaded ball there. Now, Moe's driving forward right into Lebo, a little flick right into JJ Johnson, and JJ finishes it near post to make it 1-0 in the eighth minute. Great play. I love it when center backs do that and they can drive confidently in towards the center of the field, but not recklessly, Create, get some space, and then um, find a good passing option. I think that was fantastic by Mo. Great flick on from Lebo, and then uh, just a, a decisive finish from JJ to that near post with the left foot. Awesome. So we're up 1-0. Great start on the road in tough conditions against the very good Birmingham Legion FC. Next play, my center mid is dropped in between the two center backs and he's looking forward. I'm right here and you can see to create a good passing angle between me and Eric, I need to come in in between into this pocket of space right here. I'm checking my shoulder to watch this wing back to see if he's jumping on me or if he's going to stay on my winger out here. So now I'm just going to kind of stay in this pocket of space, open up my body so that when I receive it in front of me, I can look forward. This is a great ball in front of me from Eric. And as that ball comes in now, I can open up, take my touch wide and start to look forward. As I'm looking forward, it looks tight. So I'm gonna cut that ball back onto my left foot inside in the opposite direction of this defender now. And now looking forward, it's tight, congested. Rodrigo's calling for it for the switch. So I'm gonna play it back into Rodrigo. And now we can turn and switch it over to the opposite side of the field where it's a little bit more open. Next play, just me and Mo back here. Try to win the header. Unlucky deflection. Try to come down. Dangerous play. Uh, just, I, yeah, I mean, maybe win the header a little bit, but it got bumped a little bit. But Sean comes up big, makes the save. Mo does a great defensive effort. Uh, but just ricocheted there. A little unlucky. Sean, the goalkeeper, now does a great ball out to me. I'm right here. Uh, I'm checking my shoulders to see if there, I'm going to have any pressure on my back shoulder. And as I'm, I'm kind of like looking through my peripherals, I'm looking at the ball, but through my peripherals, I'm seeing this wing back start to hold back, which means I have time and people are shouting time, time. So I can chest that ball, bring it down and look forward. Joaquin's not making like a super de decisive run to the corner flag. So it's not on. So I'm going to cut it back. You can see Rodrigo pointing back. He wants it back, playing to Rodrigo and then just a little mistouch there. And we end up uh, losing the ball unfortunately. 
Next play, I'm just back here checking my shoulder again, looking at this player right here to see if he's making a run to the corner flag, if he's sagging back, if he's popping over into this pocket of space. I just want to know where this guy's at. So I'm holding, checking, trying to find him. And then again, this is one of the rare instances where I'm forcing the ball inside because I have Eric Bird right here to make it a 2v1 and pushing it right there. It's great. It's, we defended that very well. Bradley gets it, and the only thing is, can I come a little bit down that line just to make that passing angle uh, for Bradley a little bit easier to play me? Uh, once again, I can't go running out because I'm watching this player right here. The run is what he's doing. Is he making the run at the corner flag? Is he staying back? Again, you can see I'm checking my shoulder. I'm seeing he's going right into the middle of the box. So now I can start to go out and, and apply a little bit more pressure. And then once again, since my winger is right here, I can force him inside to make it a 2v1 instead of forcing him outside here because we have numbers on the inside. So forcing him in now, it's great. And uh, just keeping the ball back and then following the run. It's a, it's a well, good team defense, good patience there. Uh, ball is going to bounce out to Mikey Lopez here, and then I'm just getting big, dropping my arms to my side and trying to block that shot uh, without causing a handball or anything dangerous here. And it works out well, bounces off me for a, uh, for a corner kick. Next play, Sean Lewis, the goalkeeper, throws me out the ball tons of time now. I'm going to start to drive forward. There's not much on looking for. I'm going to play right into my center mid, Eric Bird, and continue my run up the field, getting high and wide, and so we can slowly start this, uh, this build, this attack. Possession is huge in this game since it's so hot, trying to keep the ball. Bouncing ball into me, just going to chest it down and then volley it right back to Bradley because it's uh, in the air, getting some pressure here, just being safe with it, playing back to Bradley. Uh, just with two touches. Uh, now, once again, balls over on this side. As it starts to come out, and, and now there's time and space for my winger to turn, I'm just bombing up the field, getting high and wide, creating a good angle. So then when this ball is played out to me, I have tons of time, perfect time to attack, and I start to drive forward. There's not much looking forward, so I'm going to start kind of hold my run a little bit and just kind of stall for my team to get up the field as well. Just kind of slowly bringing the ball forward, finding what I, I'm looking for. There's nothing, we're just kind of in a line right here, but Rodrigo's making a good checking run in the pocket. So I'm going to play Rodrigo right here into the pocket. And then now we have numbers forward with the ball in, uh, in their half. So uh, good, patient build up again. On this play, the ball is coming into my winger with his back towards me and towards the goal. So I wanted to apply pressure against him here. I'm a little late and he has a great turn just around me, but I do enough. It's enough pressure so that he gets his, himself in a tough situation and then we can win the ball and keep it here right now. And then as I'm looking forward, it's starting to get tight. I don't have any passing option here or here. So I'm going to pop this ball down the line and just try to explode, uh, explode past Flemings there. And as I try to run past him down the line, I just get a... Uh, we get like a knee to knee right there. So as you can see, the ball's coming in. There's a little lane right down this line. I'm gonna pop the ball forward and then our knees collide and uh, that didn't feel too good. But uh, good decision, I think, recognizing the space, recognizing it's tight and uh, being uh, decisive there. Here, you can see I'm on the wrong side. Uh, Bradley has to tuck in to give Mo cover defense. So I need to pop over on the opposite side of this player, pop over right here. Now I'm goal side and I'm ready to, uh, to defend. So now when this cross is coming in from Dean, I'm in a great position to head this out and clear it out. So perfect. Recognizing that, seeing Bradley kind of shift over and then tucking in on his man. Now receiving the ball, I want to play Rivas again. Uh, this defender is cutting that off. So I'm going to take my touch inside a little bit into my left foot, draw this defender out a little bit, and then just kind of clip it up, chip it up into Rivas so he can start to go forward. He decides to pull it back. And now we're keeping the ball, switching it over to the opposite side. Here's another example of when the ball's like, when we regain possession of the ball in the center and there's tons of space out high and wide, me just bombing forward so my center mate can turn and play me out the ball. A little mistouch there, but I recover bring the ball forward and you can see multiple players up here, three versus one or three versus two here, all calling for the ball. So I'm going to try to whip that ball in uh, towards the back post. I just overhit that slightly. I think that's a, a good, a decent ball though. Maybe if it could just be a little bit less power, I think that would have been perfect, but it's a good idea. And uh, we still maintain possession up here um, in their half. 
next play it's a little frantic but it's going to come back to me i have a guy right on my back so i'm going to try to just pop this first time right into rivas to be safe because we are a little bit out of position back here it just misses him and then uh, a little bit of a counter attack here 2v2 out here again i can't just sprint out on this player because i have this player to worry about so i'm going to start to sag back drop back and plug the center forcing the ball wide. I want to make it very predictable. This ball is going to go wide and then it's 1v1 out there on the wing. So the ball goes wide now. Now it's 1v1. And then I see my opportunity to step in and win that. And now I'm looking at Rodrigo. He's already checking his shoulder. I start to wind up. And as I'm winding up to play into Rodrigo, this player jumps out, tries to block that. And I change my mind last minute and continue to drive forward here. Now, I think I should hit this right here. Early ball curling around uh, this defender, Kragnale. But I didn't know if he was off or not, and I decided against it. I just continued to drive forward. Didn't really have much, so I cut the ball back and just play into uh, Rodrigo. And now we're top of the box, but unfortunately, just lose the ball right here uh, as we try to get out to Dario. Here, just inside, just going to win this header, clear it out. Kind of dangerous in the center of the field. Have to do better to try to hit more of that out at an angle or farther up the field. And then just uh, two-touch passing here back into my uh, my center mid. Now this play, I love this play. It's going to come into JJ. As this ball is coming in into JJ, you can see this uh, this fullback is starting to get sucked in and applying pressure to JJ. He's just going to bounce this right back to Rivas. I'm bombing forward up the line, and now I can receive this looking forward. And Dario's pointing. He wants the ball early into this space. He's making the run. So now I'm going to try to hit Dario right around the penalty or the six-yard box. I think it's a, a decent ball. Craig Nolly wins it, the defender. Um but I think it's a good idea. Just uh, just got to keep hitting those, and one of those is going to get through. Ball comes out to me tons of time. Just playing to Rivas and continuing up forward. Rivas decides to cut in and then swing it out to the opposite side. Bradley wins that header. It's going to bounce down. I'm checking my shoulder. I'm feeling like this guy is charging out to me, and uh, Joaquin is wide open right here. As it's bouncing, I just pop it up. I pop it up a little bit too high, but it works out. goes into Rivas, and uh, we can keep possession of the ball there. And then he gets fouled. Uh, for a free kick and then the last few seconds of the first half uh, just a corner kick we win that Sean Lewis just catches that goes to the ground and just uh, runs out the last few seconds of the clock so that was the uh, the first half decent uh, it's just so I remember this. this is the hardest conditions to play in in terms of how hot it was and how humid it was but a good result on the road in this first half one nil up I think it was a good lead up to the goal but you, as you can see Birmingham Legion are kind of knocking at the door. They have 10 shots, four shots on target, and then possession is pretty even. So um, a lot of this is defending, and they've just been kind of counterattacking. But we are having decent possession this game and still building and creating some uh, some dangerous chances, as, as you saw. Here is the start of the second half. We are going to start with the kickoff. I lied. Birmingham Legion is going to start with the kickoff. They just bring it back to Kragnale. They decide to keep it playing it around the uh, the back line. And then here is my first touch in the second half, first defensive action as the ball is going to come out to this side, comes into the fullback, and fullback plays right into my winger. And as I always say, as that ball is arriving into your winger with his back towards you and towards the goal, you should meet him so that you are meeting at the same time of the ball to make it difficult, bump him a little bit, so he can't just easily just receive that in turn. Eric does a good job coming back down. We double down, win that ball, and now I'm just kind of dropping back to create an angle for Eric, checking my shoulder to check on this guy to see if he's running at me. Tons of time here, receiving the ball. And then as I feel Fleming is kind of flying in, I'm just going to chop the ball back, put myself in between the ball and Fleming's, and he has to hit me if he wants to go for the ball and then uh, earn the foul there. So good start to the uh, second half. Receiving the ball now, start to go on the line. My touch is a little bit underneath me. If it was a little bit better, I could probably find Lebo or Rodrigo quickly here, but it starts to close. So it's going to bring it back, playing to Bourgeois, my center back, who plays me right back. And now Lebo is just in this pocket right here to play into Lebo. And now we can kind of swing it over to this, uh, this opposite side once again. Lebo plays me out the ball. Tons of time. I start to drive forward. As I'm driving forward, I see that there's not much. It's me versus one, two, three before we have any of our, our turquoise shirts. So I'm going to just chop that ball back, try to keep it now. And I want to play into Lebo, who's checking in. So I'm going to take my touch inside so I can create a better passing angle around this defender, play into Lebo, tell him to turn. And uh, once again, keeping the ball 
tons of possession in the second half. Great driving around from Eric. I'm going to receive the ball. I'm going to drive forward now because I'm checking my shoulder to see where Rodrigo is. I want to drive inside to keep this fullback pinned inside to give Rodrigo a good chance, a good angle to cross the ball. He tries to uh, cut that ball back to me. Uh, just doesn't get there. And then just kind of coming back and applying pressure against the winger Flemings. Um, as they start to do an opposite counterattack against us now. Rodrigo with the ball, plays it all the way back to me. Just going to touch that ball down, playing the level, tell him time, tell him turn, and then just, again, keeping possession as we start to slowly build this, uh, build this attack. Now, ball comes right into my winger again. I'm a little late this time, but same kind of principle. I'm just getting high, getting uh, some pressure on Fleming so he can't just turn and drive an attack, forcing that ball backwards, and then just getting back into my position as uh, as they start to uh, slow down the ball here. Now, I love this sequence from us. It's just very composed from Jorge to bring that down, back in Eric, back into Jorge, out to the winger, Dario. Dario's just going to keep that ball, play back into Eric, back into Mo, back out to Jorge, back into Eric. It's just very, it's just a great build. And then Eric with a great through ball into Dario. Dario runs on, and then a tidy finish to make it 2-0. Um, almost... Didn't put that away. Uh, Van Oko almost saved that, but it went in, and that's all that matters. So here's uh, here's Dario celebrating the goal, sipping on some tea with the lads. Their uh, their dumb celebration, <laughs> but now we're up two nil, and here's the replay of it. Dario just running on, very composed, picking his head up, seeing where the goalkeeper is, and then just trying to open up his hips and slot that into the far post, and boom, two nil. Great build up. Great through ball from Eric, and then a good finish uh, from Dario. And uh, JJ was out there on the far post if the ball did kind of bounce out to him. Now here, big touch from the center mid. It's a 50-50 ball here, so I'm going to run in and, and try to win this. And as I do, I start to notice that he's coming barreling in, so I'm going to let that ball go past me and, again, put my body between him and the ball. So if he's going to get to the ball, he has to go through me. He bumps into me, runs into me, and once I feel that contact, fall down and uh, earn the foul here. Let the clock go, and this is perfectly fine. You can see the frustration from, uh, from the Birmingham Legion team starting now balls coming out to me just checking my shoulder to see how much pressure i have if i can bring this down if i need to go first time i bring it down start to drive we're up two nil let's keep the ball a little bit let's have some possession let's play back into bradley bradley all the way over to lebo and again good build from us uh once again just winning that ball from the throw-in out for another throw-in for birmingham and then once again winning the header and uh now we clear it out. Now we get up and push up here on this play. You can see it's almost like 3v3 against uh, our back line. And I need to tuck in. So I'm goal side and blocking of, of Flemings now, the winger. And now I'm super inside and I'm almost four. You can know the ball is going to go wide. So making it very predictable. We want the ball to go wide. We don't want it to get sliced up through the middle. Now it's 1v1 out here. And I just get a little overzealous, overstep just a little bit, allow him to cut back. And uh, I just got to, I almost want to allow that shot with the left foot and uh, try to block it, but just not expose that inside because that's where we can really get hurt. It didn't hurt us this time, but just something to think about when, whenever I'm going 1v1 in, in that situation again. Level with the free kick here is just going to play it back to me. I'm just checking my shoulder and watching this player right here to see the angle that he's driving at me, how much pressure he's uh, he's coming at me with. And then I'm just kind of driving in between these two players looking for Mo. But then I'm recognizing this player just starting to fly out at Mo. So I'm going to drive in here and then play into that space that that player just left. Eric does extremely well, but then just gets that ball just nicked away from him at the very end. And then I'm just coming down onto Fleming's off of me. And Sean Lewis is going to save that from a corner kick and just go kick that out for a throw in being safe and smart about it there. Here, as soon as this ball goes into uh, Bradley's guy right here, I'm in no man's land. I just need to start to provide cover for him and sprint back into this area because that almost was extremely dangerous. We got lucky, ball bounced right out to me, and I'm just going to clear that out again, but have to be switched on there. And then 68th minute, ball just over Marlone. I think Marlone misjudged that, took a step in or something, and then Flemings puts away the, uh, the header to make it Two to one in the uh, 68th minute. You can see just unfortunate. Just kind of like a little overzealous. Took one hard step in. Just just missed the ball. And Flemings is in a good spot just to win that. 
Here's my next touch. The ball is going to come right into my guy, just stepping in, winning that, and then maintaining possession of the ball, being composed, keeping the ball, and then great little one-touch play, two-touch play from our team to get out of that. Again, my guy's got his back towards the goal. I'm providing pressure, bumping him, making it difficult for him so he can't just turn and attack. So making it difficult, and I, I thought that was off of a Seidu, a Seidu, but a uh, referee calls it Birmingham Legion ball. And then here, this is gonna kind of gruesome, but me and Va Van Kenziel go head to head here, um, completely just in my blind spot. I, I don't know if Van, Van Kenziel saw me at all. I think I might've been in his blind spot as well, but, uh, but yeah, we just both just collided heads. Luckily, uh, I really didn't have anything. I didn't have any concussion symptoms, no blood. Van Kenziel had kind of a couple stitches and, and he had a lot of blood kind of gushing out. But uh, just kind of, I just got a knock, a headache. But no concussion symptoms. Was very, very fortunate with that. Looks a lot worse than it than it actually was for me, at least. I know Van Kinzel probably doesn't feel the same after uh, getting a few stitches to the uh, to the forehead. But just completely, just go head to head there. I think I win the first contact on the ball, and then uh, get head to head shortly after that. So they call a foul on Van Kinzel, and then I actually come back in because I have no concussion symptoms or anything. And then I'm getting pushed up to uh, right mid just to finish out the last few minutes of the game. So I'm up here, right mid, just providing pressure here. Uh, ball comes into my fullback now, right into me. And then here, you gotta be smart. This is the last minute of extra time in the game. We're up two to one. The ball is right in this pocket, three guys around me. I'm just gonna pop that ball up play it down into the uh, the corner all the way back to uh, Van Ockel and be safe about it. And then 97th minute, uh, corner kick for Birmingham Legion, and then referee calls the game there. So we went two to one, very, very tough game. We were kind of just like surviving that second half. We obviously did well and, and got ourselves another goal, but Birmingham Legion had a ton of attack and we did very well to defend that. Just that one corner kick, just uh, missed time slightly, and Flemings was able to capitalize there. But very good game, I think, from us. Very good game. I mean, you can see how many shots Birmingham Legion had, how many shots on target they had, but possession still pretty even, to be honest. They're just slightly edging us there. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, peace.